Hi everyone. Um, my name is Shannon Bilby and I am the communication specialist here at BCTC. And today I am with Jennifer Wilson, who is from the Bursar's office, and she is here today to talk to you about your payment information and everything regarding billing and tuition due date and all that good stuff. So if you have any questions throughout this presentation, please leave a comment below and we will try to answer all of your questions at the end um, of this um, PowerPoint. So Jennifer, take it away. All right, welcome guys. Thanks, thanks for joining me today. Um, as Shannon said, I'm Jennifer and I'm with the Bursar's office. Let's start off by talking about where we're located. You can come see us at any of the three Lexington campuses. We're open Monday through Friday, nine to five. We do have to close for lunch daily from 12.30 to 1.30. So please plan your trip around that. Um, any information that um, about tuition and payments and billing, you can find on our website and you see those links there below. So please check us out online to get some good information and um, hopefully answer any questions um, that you might have if you can't come see us. Um, and if at any point during the semester you have any questions, even outside of your bill and just need some help, come see us and um, we will get you the assistance that you need. All right, so the academic year 2020 tuition rates. So beginning this fall through summer 2020, residents are going to be charged $174 per credit hour. Non-Kentucky residents will see um, charges of $609 per credit hour. In contiguous counties, I always get asked what that is, and that's if your home county um, shares a border with the state of Kentucky, if, you're, if you live outside of Kentucky, but your, your county shares a border with us. Um, then you're going to see a $348 per credit hour charge for the classes in which you're enrolled. Mandatory build smart fee is $8 per credit hour. If you have any classes on campus or with on-campus participation, you will see a security charge of $40 per term. If you have online courses, you'll see a $20 per credit hour online technology charge for that, those online classes. All right, so when is tuition due? 16-week course, um, the 16 week session, those the, the tuition charges are due August 16th, 2019. That's Friday, August 16th. Um, so please make sure that you have payment arrangements made by August 16th. You don't have to have it paid in full. If you know, or you know, we just need you to have a payment arrangement made. So a payment plan, make sure your financial aid is all um, set up and that you've done everything you need to do for your financial aid. You'll have to work with the financial aid department to make sure you're all set if you're using financial aid. If you're expecting a third party vendor uh, or maybe your employer or someone to sponsor um, your tuition, sponsor you here and pay your tuition with BCTC, please make sure you have submitted your documentation to our office. Um, if you're expecting a scholarship, please make sure you have submitted that scholarship documentation to our office so that we can note your account. Um, again, you, it's not that you have it paid in full on August 16th. We just have to make sure that you have payment arrangements made by August 16th for this upcoming um, semester. And please, if, um, if you have any questions about due dates or withdrawal dates, um, please look at the academic calendar um, for refund um, withdrawal deadlines. All right, so to make an online payment, you'll just log into your student self-service and click on the account balance tile. And then on the left-hand menu, you'll select, you'll click on make a payment, and then you will select your payment method and hit confirm and proceed. Uh, it's pretty user-friendly, but if you have any questions or any problems, again, come see us and we can help you out. You can, um, other payment options are, um, of course, the payment plan, which we'll talk about. We do have a Dropbox located outside of our Cooper and Leestown campuses, um, but please don't leave any cash and use our Dropbox envelopes out, uh, that are outside of our office and, and near the Dropboxes. You can also mail in payment, um, and I recommend mailing in payment to our Leestown campus, but you can find that information on our website. For the payment plan, if you want to take advantage of that, just make sure that you disable your pop-up blockers 
um, before getting started. So you're going to log into your student self-service and click on your account, account balance tile and proceed just like you're going to make a payment. And then whenever it asks you to select your payment method, you're going to select set up official payment plan and click confirm. If you click confirm, if you get to step number five and nothing happens, then that means that you've got your pop-up blockers on. Um, so please make sure that you have disabled your pop-up blockers so that you can proceed. Now your payment plan will be set up for any out-of-pocket expense. So if you are, if you have financial aid but it's not enough financial aid to cover your bill, um, then the payment plan will only set up for that out-of-pocket expense, whatever is not covered by your financial aid. The two systems, meaning your student self-service and the payment plan system, None Up Business Solutions, they do communicate, so they are able to see whenever you have um, aid or other pending forms of payment so that um, your payment plan is set up for the correct amount. And you're not done setting up your payment plan until you get all the way through and you read the terms and conditions and you authorize. Um, the payment plan does have a $25 non-refundable enrollment fee and a $30 return payment fee, so I want to make sure to make mention of that. But as long as you enroll into the payment plan by August 9th, then guess what? You have no down payment, and you're just going to have four payments, um, August through November 20th, that will automatically process um, on the 20th of each month. If the 20th falls on a weekend or holiday, it'll be the following business day. All right, we just like to uh, remind everybody that, you know, if you have received any sort of, you know, sponsorship or scholarship or, you know, sometimes a financial aid and you decide that your uh, the classes aren't working for you and, and you have a withdrawal later in the semester, please check with the financial aid department or check with your um, scholarship um, vendor or, your, or your, your sponsor and make sure to see if your withdrawal will have, um, if there will be any impact on the awards that you have received. Um, there could be an adjustment to your account. So we just want to make sure that you're aware of that before we understand things happen. We just want to make sure you have full information before, you know, you go through um, and, and make any changes later into the semester. Um, and if you're expecting financial aid, please check with them to make sure, again, that you're completely packaged and all ready to go. Um, and make sure that you're in an eligible program to receive your award. All right, so Bank Mobile refunds process every Thursday. Um, you do have to get set up with Bank Mobile and tell Bank Mobile how you want your refund delivered to you. Um, and you do that by logging into your student self-service. But I want to make an important note here. If you're new with us um, and you follow these steps, logging into your student self-service, clicking on account balance, and select refund preference, um, you won't be able to proceed from here just yet because since you're new with Bluegrass, um, we have a, you're not yet set up with Bank Mobile. We need to send your basic profile information from our college to Bank Mobile, and that's going to occur beginning next week. So just go log into your student self service, click on account balance, and click on the select refund preference um, the week before classes start. And I think that should be a safe point to get your um, safe time to get your refund selection set up, and they should have all of your information by then. And you have three refund preferences. You can get direct deposit into an existing account. You can set up a Bank Mobile Vibe checking account, or you can ask that they mail you a check. I'm going to tell everybody now, if you select um, paper check delivered to you, um, just be on the lookout for it um, and be expecting it. It does come in an uh, a plain envelope with a with a window um, a window envelope with your name and address on there and it's not marked in any other way and sometimes people um, will think that it's you know junk mail or something like that and they might accidentally discard it so just make sure if you select that uh, paper check as your refund method that you're looking out for it all right, and big news, the BCTC Lextran class passes for this year are now available. We got them in, guys. We're so excited about that. So um, if you haven't signed up for one, go ahead and do it at the link on your screen there. Um, if you go to our website and type in BCTC class pass, it should, you should be able to find the sign-up page for it. Then you're just going to bring your government-issued photo ID or your BCTC student ID to any of the three Lexington campuses uh, to the bursar's office locations to pick up your pass. 
Um, remember, passes are limited, and we're going to issue them on a first come, first serve basis. And once you get them, treat them like cash because they cannot be replaced. All right, so in other news, we have been having some questions about the Work Ready Scholarship. So we just wanted um, to make mention that this is an, a, a, a scholarship award that is paid through the state of Kentucky through KIA. It's a last dollar scholarship and it's handled by our financial aid department. So please inquire about this award with, the, uh, with our financial aid department and they can help you with that and answer any questions you might have about it. For 15 to finish, that's another hot topic right now. So students taking 15 credit hours or more that um, are program applicable, you can apply for the 15 to finish um, uh, scholarship through your student self-service account. Um, you'll see a link under your to-do list. So applicant um, accounts, they're going to be reviewed during the semester and the awards will be posted sometime after that. So this award is going to take some time to determine eligibility um, and you won't see it on your account up front or prior to classes starting. So just wanted to make mention of that. Um, and if, just a reminder, if you're on the Cooper campus, you're going to need to get a UK parking permit. So you can check UK parking out online um, or go see them at 721 Press Avenue um, and their phone number. Pretty easy, 859-257-5757. All right, Shannon, do we have any big questions that we can answer right now? Um, we got one question, and okay. it was from Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Um, who does a student contact in order to receive an out-of-state grant that requires Bluegrass to confirm online information? So this is not a state that Bluegrass usually exchanges information via online information network. So I think she's asking about grants and um, scholarship information. Okay. Um, Cindy, I would love to talk to you a little bit more into detail about this. So I'm just going to have Shannon um, private message you and um, share my number with you so that I can make sure I, I understand the information and the question fully and, and answer it appropriately. But I won't do it here um, in a yes. public setting. Yes. So Cindy, um, just direct message us. Um, and um, I will forward your uh, information on to Jennifer, um, and, or I'll give you Jennifer's number and we can go on from there. Um, but that was all of the questions. If you guys have any more questions um, throughout the next couple of days while you're watching this video, please feel free to comment, message us. We are always here to um, lend a hand and help you out. Yeah, so. and, and like I said, even if it's, you know, not a question about your bill, but, you know, anything else, just shoot us a message and we'll make sure to give you the, get the assistance that you need. We're so excited to have you this fall and we look forward to assisting you. So thank you for joining us today and we'll see you this fall. Yes, see ya.